It's Crystal here, and for today's video, I'm going to be reviewing a product from Too Cool for School. Too Cool for School was created here in the United States in New York City, and they're actually a really unique brand where they like to partner up and collab with uh, artists and basically create really awesome products with them via makeup or skincare. So the product that I am reviewing today is going to be the very popular product from them, the Too Cool For School Art Class by Rodin, the Contour Palette. Now I ordered this from eBay. I got this for $12.95, but I also paid for $2.80 of shipping from eBay from a seller, which I will definitely link down below in the description box. And I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know that I have not opened this up yet, just because I'm a little nervous and I definitely wanna do it on camera, but I basically only order products from sellers on eBay that have that metal next to their name, and this person did have a medal next to their name. They do ship directly from Korea, so I was really excited to find him because other places that have, or that I've noticed, are selling it a little bit more pricey. So he is a little bit more convenient, or she, I'm not sure it's a he or she, but the seller's a little bit more convenient. But I do always do my research with eBay sellers to make sure I, you know, aren't surprised with anything that actually happens. So I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys know there were really interesting mixed reviews for the seller. Uh, most of them were saying how the wrong product was shipped to them or their product was used and it wasn't brand new to them. So I'm really nervous. I ho am hoping that this product is brand new but uh, I ordered three products from the seller and all three came to me quickly. I ordered April 6th, it came to me April 14th. So it took about a day over a week for it to ship to me, which is the fastest shipping I've ever had from a seller from South Korea or basically most of the places that aren't in the States. Usually it takes two weeks, but this seller sent it to me actually right away. So it's actually, I don't know, I really, really, really didn't expect that. So the shipping is amazing. Uh, also wanna note that I didn't get free shipping, but that's okay. Um, in terms of the tracking information that eBay provides for you, it actually updates really quickly compared to a lot of other sellers that I have bought stuff from on eBay. So that's also another bonus that I've noticed. So, But of course, those bad things, you know, fingers crossed, it doesn't ever happen to you, but it can. So in no means am I saying that it will definitely not happen to you. And I am not partnered up with this seller at all. So just a heads up. Let's just go ahead and open this box up. And it's a really cute box. So, let's open it up. I'm a little scared. Okay, comes in this wrapping paper here. Don't really wanna ruin it, so I'm just gonna slide it out. So this is what it looks like. It does come with 9.5 grams of product in it, and it is a palette, so let's go ahead and open it up. Uh, I can't open it. I'm so scared. Oh! So it's not used, and it's it looks pretty brand new to me. And is this part of the mirror? Oh. <laughs> yeah, so it comes with this that covers it up to keep it hygienic. So we're just gonna go ahead and roll over to that segment where I show you guys how I use the product. Now, I'm not gonna go way into detail over how to use this contouring palette solely because there is no specific way to contour your face. It depends on how you like it and what your face shape is. So this is just how I basically do it. I don't like to do the Western kind of way. I do kind of like to do it kind of the innocent, more tweaking of my face shape, making it more defined a little bit more compared to making it chiseled. So for this product, I do use two brushes. So both of these brushes are actually another set I bought from Ulta. The first one is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. So this is eight US dollars and 99 cents, only bought at Ulta, but I recommend you finding a brush like this. Um, it doesn't have to be this exact brush as long as I feel like if it has this kind of structure, solely because I feel like this kind of brush picks up the powder from this palette way better than any other brush. I've tried a couple of brushes like contouring brushes and whatnot, and they're not shaped like this, but I've tried them and it doesn't pick up as much product as this brush would. 
and I also contour my nose as well so what I use to contour my nose is another Real Techniques brush this is the setting brush it's um, also by um, Sam and Nick Chapman both of these brushes are Real Techniques Sam and Nick Chapman and this one is seven US dollars and 99 cents also bought at Ulta if you are interested in contouring your nose you don't have to use this specific kind of brush as long as it's kind of like a fluffy brush then I would say it's just as good so rolling on to how I basically um, contour my face now there's three colors here so when I contour my jawline I do like to use all three colors together so I would just take the brush and I would just swish it together like that I would tap out any of the access and I do like to start with my jawline first so I want that V shape so I would start where my chin is and then go up and I just, that's kind of all I do. So I bring it towards my ear and then just keep going up and blend it out. And then it's the same way I go on this side and I bring it up towards my ear and I just blend it out. And it kind of gives it more of a defined like so. So that's kind of all I do. And then if you do have a little bit of a double chin, you can always use the medium or the darker shade, depending on your skin tone, or use both at the same time, tap out the excess, and kind of go underneath here and kind of give yourself a shadow so it doesn't look like you have a double chin. I don't really do this step often, but just a tip if anyone is more insecure about their double chin that they want to hide. Um, I do sometimes contour here as well and if you're doing that I switch it all together and I tap out the axis again and then I go in here and I do go towards the hairline so I would go like this because you want it to go towards the hairline if you're doing just like that it doesn't look right you want it in the hairline it looks more natural that way so that's if you want to do that and that's kind of how I just contour my face I don't really do the chiseled cheekbone kind of look I try to keep it minimal and more natural in my opinion now moving on to my nose I used the setting brush and I only used two colors. I used the lightest color and the medium color. Now both of these colors work either way. It depends on your skin tone once again and sometimes I do use both of them together and then when I do swish them together I tap out the excess and I start right here and I kind of bring it all the way down here and then I kind of go underneath here so it's kind of like this. And then same thing, swish it, tap it out this side from here, bring it down, curve together and down here. And then whatever's left over, I kind of finish down here to add more dimension and a little bit right here just to add dimension because if you do just that, it looks really flat and unnatural. So I like to add a little bit right here. Contouring doesn't have to be one specific way. It's how you like it as long as you are blending out those contouring shades. I think it's pretty natural. It's good to go. It doesn't really matter how you do it. Alright, so now that I showed you guys how I use this product and what tools I use to apply the product on my face, let's just go ahead and roll on over to my first impression of this product. <laughs> So I read that a lot of people like to use the three shades, maybe separately or mixed together, um, just in specific areas of their face. And some of them even just mix all three together because they just, it's whatevs. But I know, I feel like this is a better contouring palette for those who are lighter skin or fair skin. But maybe it can be buildable, I'm not sure. This, but let's just go ahead and roll into trying this out. Okay, so I basically contoured my jawline. Let's go ahead and contour my nose. <laughs> Alright, so here is the finished look of the contouring. Uh, that I did with this art palette. So far, so good. Easy to apply, easy to mix the colors together. You do have to tap it out. It is a compact powder. I noticed that because I'm wearing powder foundation in a powder setting, it glides on much quicker and easier. This may be for contouring, so contouring usually only has one thing, is to sculpt and define features of your face, but this also has vitamins infused with it, so it's supposed to also nourish your skin as well. So, another thing I just didn't remember to mention, but 
I'm just gonna go ahead and go throughout the day with this and see how it goes. So far, I do like it because it is a lot like my skin tone. Uh, I noticed that when I use my e.l.f. palette, even though I have raved about this e.l.f. palette, this contouring shade, and I love the gold shimmers and everything, I noticed that sometimes, or the longer I wear it, there's like a red undertone to it, so it makes that part of my skin look red. So hopefully Too Cool for School's uh, contour palette doesn't do the same for me, but we'll definitely see as we go out throughout the day. Hey guys, so I basically wore the Too Cool for School Art Class by Rodin contouring palette for about 9 hours straight. And it looks like the contouring is still there. I don't it didn't it doesn't look like it budged or anything at all. The contouring on my nose here and on my jawline, it seems to have stuck. It didn't really transfer a budge and throughout the day, normally with my other contouring palette uh, or not palette but with my other contouring uh, shade that I use it gets red throughout the day but this one it held up pretty well like it didn't really get red and it stayed the color that I applied it with so so far so good and I'm just gonna keep using it for a little while longer and we'll see how I feel about it after a couple more uses Welcome back to present day where it's been about two weeks since I first used the Too Cool For School contouring palette and let's just go right into the pros like always. So first pro, it's long lasting. Second pro, it's lightweight. Third pro, uh, the packaging is actually really nice, really slim, it's small, thin, there's a mirror in here. You can easily slide this into your purse if you want to do retouches throughout the day or if you're just on the go and you have to do your makeup on the go. So this is travel friendly in terms of its size. Um, the fourth pro is that this has three colors to it or three tones or shades to it. So you have three tones to work with. So depending on which area of your face that you want to define, if you want to make it more defined and sculpted, you can use the darker shades. If you want to make it natural but still defined, you can use the lighter shades. You have three shades to work with. Um, another pro, I totally lost count. I think I'm at four or five. Four? Anyways, I'm going to stop counting from here. But another pro is that this palette is actually really soft, really smooth. So if you ever touch it with your hands, it's so incredibly soft. I, I just really like how soft it is. Another thing is that this is also really um, easy to work with. Like I said earlier in the video, if you're using a brush like this, this will easily pick up the product. And with this, I find it really easy to glide on this contouring palette on my face. No matter if I'm wearing um, a powdery foundation or a BB or liquid foundation, this glides on quite nicely, beautifully and easily. So there's that. So the formula for this is actually, I think it's really perfect. I really love the formula of this contouring palette. And the last pro is that, I mean, this is a contouring palette. It's just there to define um, and tweak up your face a little bit more. So I think it does what it should do. It is a natural kind of contouring palette. So it does have a really nice natural finish. And it actually works in thin layers. It's not very pigmented. So for those who are looking for a really pigmented contouring palette, you either have to layer this on or you just want to kind of move on and find another contouring palette that's highly pigmented because this works in thin layers and personally the reason why I think that's a pro is because if you're working in thin layers it's easier to blend and it's easier to tell how much more product you need to add onto your face um, to make that area of your face more defined so if you're working with thin layers it's a lot easier in my opinion. If you're kind of working with a really pigmented contouring palette, I feel like it's a little harder to control and if you apply that on to a specific area and you didn't want it that defined, you're gonna have to either try to blend it out as much as you can or something, but I like how it works in thin layers and it's not pigmented, but that's just my personal opinion. That being said, let's just go ahead and go to the cons of this product and honestly, I can only think of two cons and the first con is that there's only three colors. So if your skin tone is more darker and sun-kissed, the third and darkest shade might not even be that contouring to you since this is the darkest one. It might not even be helpful for you, so you might have to look uh, for another contouring palette that will suit your skin tone more. This is more for those who are 
fair skin to medium kind of skin tone. Any darker than that, you would have to look for another palette. The last con is something that I have yet to experience, but I heard that if you drop this once, it's the palette is just so soft that when it falls once, it will totally be destroyed and cracked. So in terms of traveling, the size is travel friendly, but if you're really, really careful with this, you should not experience any of that. But if you're kind of not too careful with your makeup products, then you might want to rethink taking this everywhere with you solely because you don't want to end up dropping it and having your contouring palette crumble on you. But other than that, that's kind of all I can think of. Honestly, this contouring palette does what it's supposed to do, and so I would recommend it. I highly recommend it for anyone who is looking for a natural contouring palette. I noticed that some contouring palettes have a more orange undertone. This one doesn't really have that one. This one more has like a brownish, yellowish, brown yellow kind of undertone so it kind of suits my skin tone much better. I totally rambled for this video but I hope you were able to find this video helpful if you're looking for a contouring palette or if you're debating whether this contouring palette is worth it or not. Um, if there is any questions, anything I left out at all for this product, please leave it in the comment section down below. I will try my best to answer all of your questions. Um, if you did find this video helpful, please give this a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and I'll definitely see you guys in my next video. Thank you Thank you so much for watching. Bye!